Valentine here. Look at this. Gastronomie for of love. We have, where, where'd you get the beautiful flowers? Those came from Fresh and Fancy Flowers in Fredonia, and they are awesome people, and clearly they do absolutely beautiful work. I, I need they to thank them for that. They are fresh and fancy. Because I couldn't do that, but I, I, did, I did do this, as you guys pointed out, yeah. First of all, before we get to what we're going to do today, what are all the, this is the red velvet cake. The red velvet cupcakes, cupcakes that, that we're, we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. What is this? Second mm -hmm. helpings? Second helpings. Or Victoria's Valentine's gift that <laughs> yeah. you made for me directly? Uh -huh. You get to make your own, actually. <laughs> and then um, we, have, we have another cake here using, what we're doing is actually using local wines. Um, I have Willow Creek wine, wine, and I also have Woodbury wines. Um, a lot of them are making chocolate or chocolate cherry flavored wines, and we're going to use that in our buttercreams today. And uh, kick them up a notch and make them make them a little bit more for us instead of the kids. <laughs> and then also drink a little. Would, would, did you <gasps> want to try some? I just happen to have a glass for you. <laughs> it's too good. You know me a little too well. Right. This is the Willow Creek chocolate wine. As we'll I'm imbibing at mm -hmm. eight in the morning, which is really my like happy hour. Uh, tell folks what they need to get together for the red velvet cake mix. Well, um, we're going to need basic uh, cake flour, which is um, it's finer than all-purpose flour. It's ground down a bit finer, and it makes your cakes kind of lighter and fluffier. Um, you're going to need um, buttermilk, which if a lot of people don't know this, but to make buttermilk, all you need is a teaspoon of white vinegar and um, one cup like of skim milk. Skim milk, and I that's like it. That. Because buttermilk is actually low fat. I just give a little stir, and then basically you let that sit aside for a few minutes, and it becomes buttermilk. Okay, and then what else? I've got 20 seconds. We've got um, cocoa powder, which um, you mix with some red food coloring, and we make a paste. Um, in here, I already have my uh, butter and sugar, and we'll be adding some farm fresh eggs from Someday Maybe Farms down in Forestville, New York. You know me, local, local, local. You are such a good promoter <laughs> of the local area down in Fredonia. I try, and I try. And a good chef. Thank you. So happy Valentine's Day. We're happy glad you're Valentine's here. Happy Valentine's Day. Here. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, with that, we're going to send it out to our web producer, Emily Linehan. We're talking everything. First of all, Emily, thank you so know. much. All right, if uh, the producers have learned one thing today, it is do not pair me with David and Lisa Ludwig doing wine segments early in the morning. They were just trying to be like me. <laughs> they certainly were. Okay, we're making um, red velvet cupcakes. Red velvet cupcakes. Hottest cupcakes. thing these days. They're, I think, almost always hot. When I take these out of the cafe every once in a while, just to put something new in, people just start asking for these. I can make them by the 10 and 12 dozen at a time, and usually they're sold before I can buttercream what them. What is it about it? I, I think that... The color? Well, you use a combination of baking soda and vinegar, and I think that with that and the cake flour, it just makes them so light and fluffy and silky, and the cream cheese buttercream, and, and then when you add wine to the buttercream, it's, exactly. You're it's in even heaven. better. Yeah, so what we need to do is well, get so this going. I've, added, I've added the paste. If you guys want to try to get a shot of that in there, you can. And then what we need to start doing is actually adding in the flour. our flour, and that's kind of messy. Okay, we're going to continue on with this. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to have the cake mixed together, pour them in, and finish up the cupcakes. We're actually going to make the buttercream soon, and then we'll Ooh. be piping some buttercream on, yep. All right, can't wait for that. Um, right now, we are sending it, where am I sending it? Back to Laura to continue on. Laura. I am automatically drawn to my friend, Chef David, from Buster Brown Bean Company. We are whipping up the cream cheese frosting. Yep, we're going to make the buttercream. Buttercream. So. Uh, in there. Butter. This is butter and <clears throat> excuse me, softened butter. It's one pound and um, an eight ounce uh, softened brick of cream cheese. You get that together. There's um, vanilla in there, and then I'm gonna smoke up the camera for a second because I forgot my screen. Woo! There you go. That usually happens to me just on a regular basis. Yeah. Now, well. While you're doing that, I'm gonna share your little trick. This mm -hmm. is what he did to pour them neatly into the cupcake pins. Neater than this, yes. Yeah, that's a great idea. I forgot idea. my screen there, but yeah, so I just go like this. You want to film about two-thirds of the way full, right? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> that's something we do with our kids all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we do it in the cafe quite I'm a sure. bit, too. So we're going to put those in the oven. In a convection oven, you're probably looking at about nine minutes. In a regular oven at 350, you're probably looking at about nine to 12, maybe upwards of 15 for, for a mini cupcake. Now, this batter can be used to make cakes, uh, cupcakes. Um, I did mini bunks today for a catering event. Um, I have a client who does, uh, he hosts widows at his house on Valentine's Day every year. So, and I thought that that was really neat, and I think a really wonderful Why thing widows? to mention. Um, well, they don't have Valentine's anymore, you know? Oh, so, right. there's, there, there you go. Yeah. So, um, so, the only last ingredient we need to add to this is our Willow Creek Chocolate Temptation wine. Is that what I'm drinking? That's what you're drinking. It tastes like a Tootsie Roll in liquid form.
It's very good. It isn't is it? excellent. And this is locally made. This is all locally made. Um, Willow Creek. Uh, is a, a local winery. They've been around for quite a while. To be honest, I'm not too sure. Now, when you're drinking that wine, you usually drink it slightly chilled, and um, usually around 39 to 42 degrees. I would say. Okay. I believe that's what they that's what they tell me, anyways. I'm gonna stick that in there, and then this is the part where you're gonna get kind of messy. Ooh, yeah. Hold that for me, and we're gonna let you pipe on. Plop it in. Yep. There you go. Good job. Burn. You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> Ooh, oh, goodness. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, it will be a little bit runny just because of the, adding the wine to it. So it's not as firm. Right, right, right. So usually what I do is chill them to set them up the way you see them on set today. And then it's just like that. Look at that. Oops. There's that air bubble you were talking about yeah. I didn't push out. There you go. All right, um, and then what I did is I brought some bittersweet chocolate. You were <gasps> talking with your girl from Wegmans over there. And uh, we just, you know, a add a little accent like this. Those chocolates were delicious, weren't they? They you were like, quite you good. You prefer cho dark chocolate? I prefer chocolate. Any kind of chocolate at all? <laughs> at all. I don't have a huge sweet tooth, but I love chocolate. Or like chocolate on bacon. Did you ever try that? I've had a chocolate Salty bacon sweet. bar. sweet, yeah. Mm, uh, we make fantastic. a peanut butter chocolate chip bacon cookie at the cafe. Like, it's out of this world. Is the red velvet definitely your best seller in terms of cupcakes? Absolutely the best seller in terms of cupcakes. Look, I do believe that someone just came in and snuck a, a, a cupcake. Jean? <laughs> Jean, admit it. There's, you know what, they're so tempting. I mean, how can you not? They are tempting, here. What are, other, so, ooh, what are some other kind of cupcakes that you have here? <clears throat> you have just a line of them? We do a whole line. Now, the recipe that I gave you guys here today is sans the special ingredient. I couldn't give it out to everybody. There is a special ingredient that I put in mind, but obviously... <gasps> It's For the world's fee, most I'll tell natural. You. <laughs> Watch it now. Really. I'll stop bringing wine. No, no. I will not tell. Cheers. Cheers to you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I can see why red velvet. Mm -hmm. It is light and airy. And it that is. frosting just mm -hmm. kind of lightens it up. We are going to come back, do second helpings mm -hmm. in a couple of minutes. But for now, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, Amelia Siegel. Just saying, who needs to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated when you got something like this right in front of you? We are making a second helping dessert with we the leftover are. cupcakes that we have. We are, we are, we are. Okay, so um, I know it's rare that there are actually leftover cupcakes right. anywhere, but when there are, or say you kind of overbaked them and they might seem a little bit dry to you, build a trifle. So you can do yours over we here. We just took it yep. out and we. Yep, and the nice thing about an, a trifle is that the kids can do it, or you can do, just do it by yourself, and then sometimes you need to make it moist by putting the wine on there. Sometimes. Uh, some here. Did you want some, too? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oops. Oh. And then <laughs> my finger slipped. And then, um, so what you do is you want to layer it. So this is um, an, a you know, leftover buttercream, actually, using chocolate cherry wine from Woodbury. Oh. Right, so get a little chocolate in there, right? And then we layer in some berries. You can pick your berries. I'll pick my berries. I have some strawberries over here. I'm allergic, so I'll give this to somebody else. But You're allergic to berries? Strawberries. Isn't that horrible? What happens to you? I get not itchy. That I would, not that I would I put get it itchy. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Like, let's see, David. So let's do another layer. That was kind of sinister, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. And then we'll take some of our um, chocolate wine buttercream from Willow Creek Vineyards in what, Silver Creek, New York. What is this I'm putting on? This is That's just... whipped cream. This is fresh whipped cream that I made. I just whipped that up here, you know. I whipped a cow, actually, like in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And then we're going to add, you know, some, some, some of this. Some more berries? Some of that, yeah. Okay, I'm going to invite my good friends in here. Yeah. It's Valentine's Day. And Amelia, Amelia's on her way in. I made sure that I got an extra glass for you as well. I didn't want to leave you out. We have to toast for Valentine's, okay? I wasn't really, like, in the spirit except for my heart shirt and Victoria's Sinister blood dress all morning. How can you not be with me? How can you not be with me? Oh, oh, she's She's empty. Sorry. Oh, here. Look, we all share here. Hey, all right. We've thank got you. much more coming on. Chef David, thank you very much from the thank you, ladies. Happy Cheers. Valentine's Happy Valentine's Day. Day. Happy Valentine's Red Day. velvet cookies, the recipes on our website. We also